So in today's video, we're going to be speaking about conversions. And the reason why I decided to do a video on conversions is because a few new dietetic interns that I have met really are not comfortable with converting. Hi everyone, my name is Kim. I am a registered dietitian nutritionist and a certified diabetes educator. If you haven't already done so, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. So today we are going to be speaking about common conversions that the clinical dietitian does use on a day-to-day -day basis. Now I have met a few dietetic interns which are not comfortable using these conversions and that's okay, no shame in the game. This is why I am here to help you. So today we are going to be looking at five, or is it four? I think it is five common conversions that the clinical dietitian does use on a daily basis. So the first conversion is pounds to kilogram. So the conversion from pounds to kilogram is 2.2 pounds equals one kilogram. So let us look at this scenario because I'm a visual learner and I like to give examples so to drive home the point so that you guys can follow where I'm going. So let's look at this scenario. Let's say that you have a patient that weighs 120 pounds. You need to convert that pounds into kilograms. Only thing that you need to do is to divide it by 2.2. The units cancel out and it leaves you with kilograms. So a patient that weighs 120 pounds, it's equivalent to 54.5 kilograms. So the next thing is inches to centimeters. So one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. Again, let's look at a scenario. So let's say that you have a patient that is 60 inches tall and you need to convert 60 inches into centimeters. All you wanna do is to multiply 60 inches by 2.54 and you get your answer of 152.4 centimeters. So 60 inches equals 152.4 centimeters. The next thing that we're going to look at is inches and feet. How many inches are in a foot? 12 inches equals one foot. So let's look at a conversion. So we're going to take that same patient earlier that was 60 inches tall and we wanna convert inches into feet. So only thing that you have to do is to divide 60 inches by 12 inches, units cancel out, that leaves you with your feet. So a patient that is 60 inches tall is five feet tall. The next thing that we're gonna look at is milliliters to liters, and this may actually be one of the easier ones. So 1,000 milliliters equals one liter. So for the purpose of consistency, I'm going to show you a example as well. So let's say hypothetically speaking, you estimate a patient's fluid needs to be 2,000 milliliters a day, and you want to figure out how many liters this is. So only thing you have to do is to divide 2,000 milliliters by 1,000 milliliters, which equals two liters. Simple. The next thing that we are going to look at um, is a final conversion, and that is converting feet into centimeters. So basically what you need to do from the examples that I showed you earlier, you're going to want to combine two steps. So let's say, hypothetically speaking, you have a patient that is six feet tall. How many centimeters is this? So I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to figure this out on your own, and then I'm going to show you the steps. So go ahead, here's your few minutes. So what we're going to do in order to solve this problem, we actually need some information from the conversions that I spoke about earlier. So one of the conversions I spoke about earlier was converting 
feet into inches and then inches into centimeters and this is the information that you need in order to solve this problem so first you want to take this six foot individual and you want to figure out how many inches are in six feet so you take six feet and you want to multiply it by 12 and units cancel out so a six foot person is 72 inches tall then you want to take this 72 inches and you want to break down inches into centimeters and if you remember one inch equals 2.54 centimeters so you want to take 72 times 2.54 which equals 182.88 centimeters so a person that is six feet tall is also 72 inches and 182.88 centimeters which is your answer so guys i hope this was simple uh, these are basic conversions that you will need to memorize for the rd exam as well as your clinical practice if you have any questions please do not hesitate go ahead and leave it in the comment section below as usual thank you for watching remember to subscribe like comment as well as share this video have a good day bye bye